facility. Male and female chickens are placed to produce hatching eggs. The males and females are fed with weight amounts of feed every day with higher nutrient requirements but of different diets. Side wall fans are provided to maintain normal temperature and to ensure proper ventilation, air in and air out. During moderate temperatures, natural ventilation modes are used for fresh air and natural lights. Equipped with the barn scraper enables easy removal of manure from inside the building five times a day, making air quality excellent for the birds. The hens lay their eggs in these nests, the eggs roll onto the egg collection belt and they are transferred over to a ride conveyor. Here is the automated hatching egg packer that assists in grading hatching eggs. The air cell of each eggs were kept upward for the chick when it hatches. The hatching eggs are packed in farm racks and stored in a cool room of temperature 68 degrees until they are taken to the hatchery. The hatchery. The eggs are taken to a disinfectant room where organically approved mists are released, disinfecting the eggs. Egg trays are moved from farm trolleys onto setter trolleys with the electronic transfer system. The setter trolleys move into incubation units. The embryo develops here for 18 days. This unit tilts the eggs to maintain uniform and precise temperature, humidity, and CO2 levels. After 18 days of incubation, the eggs are taken for embryo detection. This machine checks every egg for a heartbeat before they go into the hatchers. The green dots stand for fertile eggs with viable embryos, the blue for infertile eggs, and the yellow for non-viable embryos. The transfer system picks up only the fertile eggs and reshuffles them into specialized hatching trays. Then, viable embryos received an organically approved vaccination against common poultry illnesses. These specialized hatching trays has two levels. The egg tray sits on top, and the space below is reserved for the newborn chicks where organic feed with balance of nutrients and freshwater awaits them. The hatching trays are then moved to the hatcher. The hatchers are precisely controlled by temperature, humidity, and CO2 levels with fresh air circulation. The chick hatched. Chicks began to hatch 24 hours after they arrived here and hatch for about two full days. After all the chicks have hatched, the hatching baskets are separated from egg trays. The basket of chicks goes through an inspection process. Healthy chicks pass through a vaccine that protects them from common poultry illnesses. While still in their basket with feed and access to water, chicks are wheeled into a temperature-controlled room until they are ready to move to their farm. With the right temperature, feed and water, these chickens are happy, with no stress. They feed, drink, and sleep, and no screaming. Cleaning of the brooding. The interior is blown down using a power blower prior to washing. This ensures the fine dusty material and leftover feed is removed with the litter. The litter is pushed up near the exit door to be taken away. A final sweep is done by a pedestrian sweeper. Detergent foams are applied to all the interior walls and equipment. 
This is followed by clean water wash. The drinkers and feeders are washed individually. The floor is then finally finished. Application of disinfectant is then carried out using the Atom, a self-propelled sprayer. Fitted with will wash facility to ensure a high standard of hygiene. Bacteria levels are measured. The cleaning and sanitizing between flocks are important to break bacteria cycles. Fresh litters are spreaded to welcome the new young chicks. After 18 days of incubation and 2 days of hatching, the chicks are ready to be taken to the farm. The chicken is like a cold-blooded animal for the first 4 to 5 days. It cannot thermoregulate. Therefore, the carrying trailer in the barn somewhat has to mimic the hatchery environment that is conducive with temperature, humidity, lighting, etc. Biosecurity has to be practiced at all levels. What is in contact with the environment could infect the birds. So we have to put on our coveralls. An integrated approach to barn dynamics for biosecurity are food, lighting, air, water, space, sanitation. When we start chicks, we have to have a bright light. Good intensity of no less than 20 lux during the light phase for the first three days of life to help birds locate feed and water. The recommended quantity of feed for starting chick should be a minimum of 40 to 50 grams per chick of size between 2 mm and 3 mm. The water line has to be adjusted at eye level so that the droplet from the nipple has to reflect the light. Chicks are very curious, they will see the glistening drop and run over and start picking at it. Recommended broiler chick's water intake is 1 ml per bird per hour for the first 24 hours. From day 5 of placement, a dark period of at least 4 hours in each 24-hour period is required. Dark periods must be no more than 20% of the intensity of the light period. Darkness benefits birds by allowing them to sleep and develop 24-hour day-night rhythms which is important in immune function, growth rate, digestion, lameness, and general health. Climate recommendations for the barn are Air temperature of 30 degrees Celsius Litter temperature of 28 to 30 degrees Celsius Humidity of 50 to 70 percent. Ammonia less than 25 ppm. CO2 less than 3,500 ppm. Having grown up, these chickens were taken to the processing unit.